what's up guys Archangel here and this is a battle today one on one against the rebels who has been commanded by a rebel and yeah I'm playing Gaul today and we'll have a look at my army first I've got four units of barbarian noble cavalry they're pretty weak cavalry but they're decent against the rebels and they are gold gold four no five units of forest warbands gold gold which are probably one of the best archers in the game which is easily going to counter the Romans' Cretian archers, Re Romans, Rebels' Cretian archers. Got four units of chosen swordsmen, gold guard, they're pretty decent melee infantry. And we'll have a look at this army, he's got four, four units, no, three units actually, of Cretian archers. They have gold, gold bronze, no, gold silver even. Four units of hoplites, they are gold gold. He's got two units of Spanish mercenaries, silver silver, and four, two units of Basterni mercenary is gold, silver, and he doesn't have any cavalry. Oh no, he's another unit of Christian archers, I'm sure he had four. <laughs> so yeah, he does have four, but the Forest of Warbands uh, did outrange them in the end, and they are pretty much slaughtering them here. The for good thing about the Forest of Warbands is they have uh, spears as their secondary weapon instead of just silly daggers, and yeah, that's going to help me quite a lot. As we can see, he's brought two more units of Bastonet mercenaries out, so he did have four in the end, they're gold silver. So he was relying on the woods to beat me here, but in the end he took them out of the woods for some reason. And yeah, I'm happy skirmishing with his archers at the moment, but obviously he he, he isn't. And he's going to bring his army up while my, my archers uh, and chosen swordsmen actually move forward to cover my archers. And my archers are going to get some nice shots now off onto, say, these these troops here. Look, they're dropping quite a lot. And I'm going to charge my cavalry straight into these guys. And I'm going to get my cavalry back out. Sorry, I had to skip there. It started lagging. And, yeah. He's going to move his hoplites up, so I'm going to move my cavalry out. It was a pretty equal fight between my cavalry and the troops there. I think my charge managed to get a lot more kills for me there. And I'm going to charge my chosen swordsman in here. And the only thing people I have to worry about is these bastonet mercenaries. They're quite, quite a good melee attack. Sorry, I just smashed my microphone if that made a noise or anything. And yeah, he is going to be able to flank my chosen swordsman here. But, well, he would be able to if his bastonets did not rout. These Spanish mercenaries have peeler, which is uh, pretty cool. He's not using these guys, though, unfortunately. And they will get the peeler out, maybe. Yep, there we go. And they're going to get... Oh, nope, they're not. And that's the enemy rebel general down. He had his rebel in a uh, rebel general in a mercenary hoplites unit. It's probably not the best idea, but then again, he doesn't have much units to put it in at all. I'm gonna get a, I'm gonna flank these bastards here, and they are still victory seems certain. Only a full clues battle. My cavalry are dropping uh, quite quickly actually, but my me my melee infantry have won the fight over here. My chosen swordsmen have managed to flank them uh, in every direction really, apart from these two guys here, for some reason they decided to go over here to attack these. And my cavalry over here is still fighting with the Spanish mercenaries and on the bastard and they're actually uh, losing, I think. Yeah, victory seems certain, for them at least. And I've pulled my guys out of this fight here too. And my archer's going to do some damage to the bastard and in the meanwhile. As we can see, there's a lot of arrows hitting them at the moment and that's going to cause a mass rout now in this army. And my guys are going to go back in, I'm seeing that they're routing, make sure they don't come back like the rest of their army has. And he actually gets a rear charge off here, but he's his guys decide to run instead. And Yeah, that's pretty much GG to my opponent, so I'll get the scoreboard up. Good game to my opponent Rebel, I'm pretty sure a Rebel army isn't really good against any army at all, so he had a big disadvantage there, unfortunately. There's a the scoreboard for you guys, as you can see he deployed a lot more because he has cheaper units, but he didn't kill hardly any of my guys. It's probably my first game as Gaul actually um, recorded, so I was pretty pleased with the results nonetheless, and there's the units, so I'll see you guys soon.